after the last race, I had quite a busy week, or a couple of weeks when I was back here in the UK, the team and um, lots of events that I went to, award ceremonies, all those kind of things. And then uh, I went over to, into the mountains and I was skiing with some friends for, for a week and a half and then, um, then Christmas and then, uh, and then training started which was not enjoyable. <laughs> it's much better before that when you're skiing. But, uh, yeah, training every day and looking after the dogs, taking dogs for walks and uh, did some good reading. And otherwise, that was about it. I'm looking forward to Melbourne. Ultimately, that's what I like doing most. So I want to be at the race. The stuff that's all around it in between it is not the most enjoyable. Uh, point part of it is you know the stuff that you have to do but the uh, the point when you get to the race and the build-up and the working with the engineers and getting in the car that's the stuff I look forward to I think the pressure really is the same as it is every year we want to win and um, I don't feel there's any more expectation than there is ever in any other season it's as high as it can ever be in every season so um, of course when you are the number one team, you become more of a target. Um, but we're approaching it the same as we did last year. You know, we want to win. We want to. We're not arriving thinking we're world champions and that we're trying to defend it. We're like we want to win it. For one, never sleeps really. You know, the guys have been focused on building this new car or designing this new car since halfway through the season last year, and they've been flat out. And the guys that finished working on last season, as soon as the finished season finished, they moved over to working on the new on the new car. So it never stops. What's exciting is the new car to get in and see what are the strengths and weaknesses of it. How can you translate that that feeling that you have to the guys? So I'm massively excited about that part. got the two factories. I was at HPP where they built the engine yesterday and um, with that really to sit down with the uh, Andy Cowell and, and ask him what's going on, what's, what's, what are your limitations, what are you guys working on, what are your struggles, what are your worries, what are your strengths, what are we, where are we going, where are we starting with and then I'll go around and, and visit different departments. I was back at the factory at, uh, um, at Brackley and sitting with my engineers getting back in touch with my engineers, really trying to uh, get them motivated and let them know, hey, I'm here, I'm ready to go again. Yeah, I have to constantly pinch myself and say, I can't believe we won the World Championship last year. You know, it's quite, quite surreal. But I think you can never let yourself get too excited or carried away with it because then you believe you're in hype. So I don't, I want to win again. I'm just as hungry as I was when I started. You don't know how Renault's going to do with their engine, so therefore you don't know how Red Bull's going to stand, but they always have a good car. Yeah, you've got Williams, who were very strong last year. They've got our engine as well, so you have to anticipate they're going to be very quick. Um, Ferrari's a real unknown. Not really, did, not really done a huge amount in the last uh, couple of years, and then, um, or last year at least. And so, can't get any worse and they can only get better I would assume and so they will be pushing and working hard to get closer and the same really for McLaren maybe even more so for McLaren you know they're gonna be working hard to to get close so it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting to see how the testing goes um, but we, we just generally focus on ourselves and we want to be you know if we get distracted by focusing on other people then uh, you can kind of get lost so we just focus on doing our, what we do uh, to the best of our ability and even better I think it's cool that we have the champions are in different teams and also top teams so they can potentially uh, be fighting. Um, you obviously have some great young drivers that haven't won championships yet but have the ability to, to do so. Um, but yeah, you need, like every team needs that, almost needs that, um, that driver to really lead them, you know, to take their whatever the way they drive the car, which really kind of takes the car to the limit and beyond, and which is, that's the only way you can really develop a car, is by finding where the limits are. So you can work on making sure that they're not the limits and keep moving that, that um, keep moving the bar higher or raising the bar.